Hey guys, so today I'm gonna do a little vlog. Um, I'm just gonna get ready real quick. It's Sunday right now and me and Bran are gonna go out to a little brunch. We don't go out very often and um, Sunday's kind of like our day to just do something. So this day we're gonna go ahead and go to a little brunch diner thing. So I wanna get a little ready since I never go out anymore. Anyways, huge thank you to NYX Cosmetics for sponsoring today's video. Wanna show you guys my favorite products uh, real quick. Um, but first I'm gonna go ahead and do my hair. So um, lately I've been doing this look, which is basically like a um, blowout. So I got my hair cut a couple months ago now. So my layers have kind of gone or grown out a little bit. But the style um, is kind of why I wanted to cut my hair the way I did is so I can do a blowout like this. So this is what I've been doing. Um, if you've been on like TikTok and stuff, like curtain bangs or a thing, but like money pieces, all that stuff, I've always loved like having like shorter layers around your face. For this reason, I think that it just like makes a hair look no matter what you do just having like pieces out if you put your hair up or when you curl your hair having just like lighter um shorter pieces and then in this case a blowout um it really just like frames the whole look so i'm gonna show you guys how i've been doing it i have been using these rollers from dry bar um but they come in a pack of six uh, it's not enough rollers for me to use for my hair so i've just been like trying to make it work but i actually went out and got like a bunch more rollers so today will be the first time trying out with more rollers so i'm crossing my fingers that this works um i got like some more hair stuff so i got all these rollers which i don't know if i'm gonna use the smaller ones i'm probably just gonna use the biggest one maybe the second biggest one and then i got these hair bands i've been seeing on like Instagram and Pinterest, um, the black and like white, just with like your hair um, down, just having a little band, I think is really cute. So I grabbed these and then I also grabbed a claw tooth um, chocolate, just cause I've been having a hard time finding one that will hold all my hair. And this one has like little grippies. So crossing my fingers this work. And then I'm using a, um this thing it's like one of these dryer brushes which really helped because i personally don't know well i know how to do it but i'm really bad at using a round brush and a blow dryer i just feel like i need extra like two arms to do it properly um but, so this kind of cuts that um process down so it's a little bit more user friendly i guess okay so first i'm just gonna brush out my hair hopefully my boob doesn't pop out of my room as I say that. So basically what I'm doing is like sectioning pieces off and then you're gonna wanna use the round brush dryer thing and then um, you're gonna brush it away or towards your face and then clip it and then let it sit for like 15, 20 minutes. So I'm gonna do this and then when I'm doing my makeup, it's gonna like sit and I'm gonna take it all off when I'm done. All right, so hopefully this turns out. That took longer than it probably should just because I am not very good at using rollers quite yet. I'm still trying to figure out what works best, but I tried this a couple times with just um, less rollers, so this is probably going to turn out better than in the past. And I'm just going to go in with a little bit of volume styling spray. So this is going to be my hair for the next couple minutes while I do my makeup. Um, something just really, really simple. I gotta get going actually because it's almost like 
one, so it's not gonna be French anymore. But <laughs> um, all right, so I already have my lashes on. Let me see if I can get a little better lighting. Oh my gosh, my flyaways. Ignore that. Okay, I'm just gonna go with a little bit of concealer just to like even out my skin tone. Nothing like major though. I wanna keep it pretty natural, just easy. And I'm using the NYX Cosmetics Micro Brow Pencil in Ash Brown. I'm gonna go in and use the little spoolie. I love how it has that already built in so I don't have to have a separate tool for that, which is nice. And it's just like a retractable eyebrow pencil. And then I'm gonna go in with a little bit of eyeshadow color just to um, add some depth like I usually do. So I'm gonna go in with some shadows from the NYX Cosmetics Ultimate Shadow Palette. Just going in with a little fluffy brush and running along um, this color. And then uh, I'm gonna do this guy in my crease. Just a really quick little bit of shadow. All right, I got my shadow. And then I'm gonna do a tiny bit of cat eye eyeliner just because. Um, this is the NYX Cosmetics um, Epic Ink Liner, which is my favorite for doing this specific um, look for a cat eye the felt tip is just perfect and it lasts all day it gives you that precision just to go in and draw that in um but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and just do a little tiny tiny wing Got my wings, I'm gonna do a little tiny line right there. And I love this eyeliner because it's not watery. Sometimes felt tips can get like dry or watery, but this pigment is really easy. So it doesn't take much for you to um, get that solid black. So you're not just constantly trying to go over and over in layers. Like it's just less likely for you to mess up if you just have that uh, pigment, which is nice. All right, so got my brows done, eyeshadow, wing. Um, what am I gonna do next? Let's do a tiny tad bit of mascara. All right, I'm gonna go in with just a little bit of bronzer. And blush and highlight. Alright, I want to go back in and just add a little bit of inner corner highlight with this guy right here, just with my finger. This just brightens up your eyes, makes you look a little bit more awake. Okay, and then last but definitely not least is a lip color. So I've been using this. This is the NYX Cosmetics Butter Gloss. I literally have been using this since like eighth grade, I think. Um, this specific color is just so wearable. Um, I've been wearing it in a lot of my Instagram pictures lately, and it's just so easy to just pop in your purse and like reapply throughout the day. So this is the Butter Gloss in Bit of Honey is the shade.
Alrighty, so that is it for the makeup look. Just really simple. All right, time to take my rollers out. Moment of truth. Uh, actually, I'm gonna leave that last. It's a money piece. If I can find the clip, but it is. I don't know how I feel about Velcro rollers, just because I feel like it makes like it frizzy, but it makes sense because the hair sticks on better. But you would think that would make your hair frizzy. I don't know. Like that sound? Ugh, I don't like that sound at all. Got a little crimped. All right, last but not least. Ooh, girl. Yes. Yes. Uh, it turned out pretty good, actually. So I am happy. Yeah, I like it because like throughout the day I can kind of just like go like that, change my part. And um, when I do that, it kind of creates more volume at the root because it just doesn't, it doesn't sit like the same just flat against your head throughout the day. When you go like that, it kind of gives it a little oomph, you know? So I'm just going to add a little bit more of that hairspray and maybe just a little shine product. The Unite Boosta Volumizing Spray, which is what I sprayed a little bit earlier. I'm going to add more of that. And this is the IGK Good Behavior um, Smoothing Spray. What I like to do is kind of like flip my hair as I add hairspray, which just adds more volume. But I don't want to add too much. Okay, and then a tiny bit of that shine spray, just like to smooth out the head. A little of this goes a long way, so. I think I want to get these hairs a little shorter because they've grown out a lot. Um, probably would look a little bit better if they were shorter because right now they're almost as long as my other layers. So you can't really see like the depth as much as I would want. But it's cute though. But I love this. This is the Living Proof Vanishing Oil and it just is a really easy product just to add to your hair if you want it to look more healthy and smooth. So I'm going to add a little bit of this too. All right, so hair is done. Now I'm going to pick a quick outfit and head out to brunch. <laughs> Don't know why that's there. All right, guys, I just got back from our lunch and I'm probably just going to stay at home the rest of the day. Um, just hang out, watch TV and chill, just like a lazy Sunday. Um, before I hopped off this vlog, I wanted to show you guys what I've been working on and kind of like see if you guys would be interested in more like in-depth videos of this, I guess. So I've been doing resin art and if you don't know what it is, it looks something like this.
basically like clear resin and you pour it into molds and then you put like glitter or plants like flowers dried flowers um gold leaf things like that and i've been making like notebooks and bookmarks keychains coasters like these letter ones um i have like a whole setup right now i'm doing um, that are curing still so they're not quite done but I wanted to kind of like maybe do like a video of how I do it or like demolding like kind of that artsy type of stuff but yeah so like my art stuff is all organized in there I was working on resin last night hence this really messy setup and then I have like organized a bunch of different things for jewelry making um yeah this room is kind of like my creative room but if you're interested i can definitely do kind of more artsy videos let me know if you want me to do like dedicated videos for like art how-to tutorials or just like incorporate them into like daily vlogs um if you have any suggestions for like art projects let me know right now i'm into resin art like i said but i'm also making like jewelry like earrings with resin molds or like charms um, and like bracelets and anklets and things like that. And I'm, I'm crocheting a sweater right now, but that's kind of what I've been doing. I've been loving it. So I figured I should ask if you guys wanted to kind of see how I do it all, like my supplies and things like that. Um, but let me know. But yeah, thank you so much for watching today's vlog. Be sure to let me know um, what you think about what I just said. And also if you have any other video suggestions um, but yeah, thanks for watching today's video. I hope you guys found it to be helpful and love you.